Okay, so I apologize for not doing my Q&A yesterday. I'm kind of doing a pop-up Q&A right now. I didn't have any questions. Um, I will definitely go back to next week's Q&A on time. I think I shouldn't promise because it's spring break here. Anyway, please post questions. Please comment. I want to provide content that you want to hear. So last week, I talked a little bit about digestion and hormones related to digestive health. Um, and so this week, I thought I would continue a little bit more about digestion. So one of the most common things I hear from people is you know, sluggish bowels, constipation, and burning in the throat. Um, acid reflux. So that is so common. Um, but what is behind it? Why do people have um, heartburn? What causes this? Now, a lot of people think it's from too much acid. Um, so they start taking antacids, you know, Tums, things like that to quiet the acid. However, it's been shown that it's usually from too low acid. The older we get, the lower our acid gets if we've been eating a poor diet. And so a lot of times when we take the Tums, we're actually making it worse. What's happening and when we have the low um, hydrochloric acid, our stomach's churning, it's burping, the trying to create more acid, we're getting, we have gas forming in there, we're opening up that sphincter, things are coming up into the esophagus, trying to create more acid instead of too much acid. Now, there are some people that do have too much acid, but they're usually younger, um, like maybe teens and children. Sometimes they can have too much stomach acid, and sometimes adults can too, and so we'll talk about that um, too. Um, so a lot of times it's just from something being in the wrong place. So it's natural to have hydrochloric acid, but it's not natural for us to have it in the esophagus, and that can really cause some serious damage and lead to other conditions as well. Um, sometimes we could have stomach ulcers um, th that can be caused by H. pylori. And I know that's kind of common too. And some people that I know have had testing for H. pylori. Sometimes it can be from enzyme insufficiency. Um, so when we talk about hydrochloric acid, hydrochloric acid helps to break um, some of the protein bonds in your stomach. So if you have low stomach acid, you're not breaking down those protein bonds. And so a lot of times people think they're not eating enough protein or they need to eat more protein. They're not getting enough protein. They're not able to build muscle. Um, they're feeling weak. They feel like they're losing muscle. Or well, there could be a lot of things related to that. It could be stress related, um, but it could be from low hydrochloric acid because that is needed to help break those bonds. So you get the amino acids so they can be absorbed and start being restructured. Remember, I, sometimes I'll talk about Legos. You know, we eat the car and it's broken up and rearranged to create the house um, or the people or whatever else. And so the hydrochloric acid is needed to take all those little Legos apart before it passes on. So how do you know if you have too much stomach acid or too low? Well, if you have low stomach acid, um, there's usually belching or aching one to four hours after a meal. Um, it could be gas immediately after a meal or feeling really stuffed right after you eat. I know I felt like that before. Um, maybe a metallic taste or a really bad breath. Um, could be the bowels aren't moving. Um, sometimes it could just be maybe we've been eating too many raw vegetables and they can aggravate things too. Um, but it, if you have undigested foods in your stool, then that could be maybe you're not chewing because we don't have teeth beyond our mouth. So there's only so much all these acids and enzymes can do, but it could be that hydrochloric acid is just too low. low. Now, if you have high stomach acid, that can be pain and burning one to four hours after a meal. Well, that sounds just like the other one, right? Um, but usually it's connected to being really hungry one to two hours after eating. And so if you eat you know, a good size meal and then one to two hours later, you want to eat again, but you eat and you kind of have this burning, then maybe you do have high stomach acid. Um, if you have heartburn when you lay down, that could be a sign of high burn, high uh, stomach acid. Um, if you get relief from antacids, then that could be that could be a sign too. Now, if you're taking the Tums and all of those things, there's a whole nother reason not to take those. But if you're taking them and you're not getting any relief, it's probably because you're just, you're making the problem actually worse. Or you have to keep increasing how many Tums that you take. Um, 
I, in college, I went through an extremely stressful time and I was eating Tums like they were candy. And, uh, I kept adding more and more. And so uh, that was my sign that I actually, I was always stressed out. And so I had low stomach acid. Uh, I didn't know that back then or when I keep eating the, uh, the Tums, right? Um, if you get heartburn from cocoa, citrus foods, um, peppers or spicy foods, caffeine or alcohol, then that can be related to high stomach acid as well. So there are some other physical signs um, that you can look at too. Um, are you tender an inch below the sternum? So I don't know if you can see me on the video. So my sternum's right here. So I'm gonna go down an inch below it. If you're tender right there, um, that, that can be a sign that you have insufficient um, hydrochloric acid. It could be too much. It could be too little. Um, if you have a dental decay, you know, your teeth are starting to decay. Um, those are signs, that's the sign of low protein. And so you have low protein because you're not breaking those bonds. It's from low stomach acid. Um, if your nails are breaking, your hair is getting really dry and breaking, your skin feels really thin and rough, then those can be related to low protein from not having enough hydrochloric acid. So how can we resolve this? So if you have low stomach acid, we want you to have more stomach acid. And this is something you can do regardless. It could be either way. So maybe you don't know, is mine too high or is mine too low? Um, taking some bitters before a meal. You can buy bitters. There's a company called Herb Farm. I don't know if I should recommend anything on social media, but um, you get tinctures and it's just bitters. Um, you can even get bitters, I think, at a liquor store, um, but I would read the ingredients. <laughs> um, but you can squirt that in your mouth 10 to 15 minutes before a meal. You can chew on something bitter 10 to 15 minutes before you eat. Um, you could have like a piece of arugula or some dandelion leaves or something that's just really bitter while you're preparing your meal. Then that helps all the digestive juices start. That helps to build up the hydrochloric acid um, before you eat. So I think that's all I have for today. I don't think I had any other questions. Let me I was gonna look on the phone, but let me look on the computer. Just to make sure I'm not missing anybody. Um, cause I didn't see any questions, but, um, I would love to hear from you and love to know what else you would like to learn about or, um, hear about for next week. Um, getting ready to start launching my, the five day reset. We have the rainbow challenge in two weeks. Is that right? Starts April 10th. If you haven't signed up, make sure you sign up so you get the recipes and the daily posts with extra recipes. Um, I'll try to remember to put a link under this live video or in YouTube and then, what else do I have? The five-day reset starts April 17th. And then I've created this wonderful cleanse program with my friend and colleague, Jennifer Swink. And I can't wait to share more about that with you too. Um, so I want to be talking about those the next few weeks, but I also want to talk about what you really want to hear and learn about. Um, but I thank you for listening today. Um, please comment and let me know if you learned something today and what else you would like to learn. And any questions you have, I love to hear from you. Have a great week.